Hello Star Citizens, I think we all know this situation. Every few patches there drops one patch that kills our game performance completely. And in the past years I have kind of developed a small routine that helps me to increase my game's performance if one of those patches hits. This routine consists of a few steps and I'm going to walk you through all of them. The steps are quite easy but often overlooked as most of these settings are not done in the game. First thing we're going to do, we go onto our Windows desktop, right click and select NVIDIA control panel or AMD control panel. We let this load. We select manage 3D settings. And within this 3D settings, we check which graphic card is chosen within the CUDA GPU settings. For me, I have set this to all as I have only one graphic card installed on this machine. But I can assure you that Star Citizen tends to choose the wrong one if more than one graphic card is enabled. This can happen if you haven't disabled your manufacturer's card installed on your board within your BIOS or if you're using a gaming laptop that supports more than one GPU. Next thing to do is to scroll down until you see power management mode. Here make sure you have select prefer maximum performance. This makes sure that your graphic card always gets the power it needs for running Star Citizen. The second step is to make sure that Windows Game Bar and its recording feature for the desktop are disabled. For this we go into our system settings, select start and settings and in this window we're going to select the gaming window. Now we are here, Windows Game Bar. Make sure that this setting is set to off and if you choose captures here Make sure that this also is set to off. And that's it for this step. Third thing to do is to open your Explorer. And now you go to your Star Citizen folder. You go into the Live folder, bin 64, and right click on Star Citizen Exe. Choose Properties and choose the compatibility window. And here make sure that full screen optimizations are disabled. The mark should be set here. Okay. For the fourth step, start the game and go into the graphing settings menu. You can do this by selecting options on the start screen and going to the graphic settings and here make sure that under window mode your option is set to borderless window and if you are using a monitor that supports more than full hd um, like mine it uh, has a scaling of 32 to 9 i am choosing this native resolution as often the native resolution of your monitor tends to give you better performance than choosing a smaller one if you use borderless window mode. Now that the game is started, we open up our task manager and choose detail step. And here we are going to right click on starcitizen.exe and select the priority. Here you can set the priority to high, but make sure that you don't do this if you are trying to stream or record your game footage, as this will kill your capturing rendering performance, so you are only to get some stuttering there. Um, but otherwise, setting this to high can give you some more FPS too, and sometimes it might be worth giving uh, the set affinity option a try, and here, if you have enough CPUs set, nearly all of the CPUs to be allowed to run Star Citizen, but choose two or three CPUs and on them run the other tasks that are open in the background.
One other thing I'd like to mention is if you're still using an old HDD to run Star Citizen on, you're not doing a favor to yourself. Um, this might be the first thing even before the upgrade of uh, the CPU to upgrade as having installed Star Citizen on a fast SSD drive not only shortens the loading times but it also makes the loading of graphical meshes in the game much much faster and this frees up some of the performance of your CPU too. Well I hope this guide is of help to you and if you have any more suggestions how to improve the performance of your game or if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below. You might have noticed that I'm not a native English speaker. I was asked whether I could do this guide that I released earlier for the German community in English as many people told me about their success with using these settings. Um, I hope this was quite okay. If you have any critics uh, that might be of help to me, please leave them below. Also make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This would really help to grow this channel and this would enable me to do some more guide videos for you in English too. I hope you have a really great time out there. See you in the verse. One more thing. As this is not only a gaming channel but a charity channel too, on this channel we are advertising and supporting a new charity project each month. I would really be humbled if you click on this cornered video link which will lead you to the YouTube channel of Victor Lakel and his awesome international animal rescue project Let's Adopt. Thank you.